In this segment, we'll learn about recording and playback options. Pro Tools can be operated as a simple recording device or a nimble and highly configurable DAW. Learning the array of recording and playback commands will let you configure transport capabilities to match your workflow. In this video, we'll cover the use of the following. Transport window options, record options, playback options, loop recording with playlists. We'll also take a look at managing the location of your recorded files using the disk allocation function. There are two ways to access the transport functions on screen. You can embed the transport controls in the main edit window by selecting Transport from the Edit Window Display options at the upper right corner of the edit window. You can also open a floating transport window by navigating to the main window menu and selecting Transport or by typing Command 1 on the numeric keypad. This floating transport window has viewing options as well, depending on how much information you want to display. Using the Minimal option, you can display just the basic transport buttons, or add functions and information displays individually. Enable these options to use pre and post roll, enable synchronization, and choose time based display. Using the MIDI display options, you can enable MIDI functions, count off options, tempo display, metronome functions, conductor track enable, and wait for note and MIDI merge mode used when recording MIDI data. In the transport window itself, you'll see a row of icons representing the following from left to right. Online synchronization mode, return to zero, rewind, fast forward, go to end, stop, play,